guys this is JOATD how you doing out there uh, today we're having a problem with a front loader uh, LG washing machine um, this right here is the model number WM 642 HW uh, the problem that we're having is when you start a load as soon as you hit power and you um, put it on what you want to wash it or how you want to wash it um, it'll fill up with water and as soon as it starts to wash it's supposed to turn the water off but it doesn't so it'll you'll hear it washing the clothes and the water will continuously pour into the drum until it starts to spill out the only way to stop the water from spilling all over the floor or uh, in your drain catch is to turn off the actual main water that's back there um, I realized that the problem is called a uh, inlet valve it's a water inlet valve your washing machine has two it has a hot water inlet valve and a cold water inlet valve on this one the cold water inlet valve um, is the problem so what I did was I ordered this uh, inlet valve assembly uh, it is a four-way uh, the one on the inside I pulled it out to see which one I needed to order or whatever and um, uh, this is the actual LG part uh, just to let you see what the new one looks out looks like before I pull the old one out. This is what it looks like. All right, so this right here is a cold water in inlet valve. This is the part that sticks out the back of the washing machine that you actually screw the cold water hose on and these are the different valves I don't actually know you know where these valves actually go in the washing machine but I do know how to replace this part so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started with taking the washing machine apart so that I can show you how to install this um, if you need one of these the part number for this particular one is right here 5220FR2008C and it also says it let's see if I can get it to focus right here on the front too alright so we're gonna get started with um, taking it apart First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the back of the machine and you're going to see you have you have one, two, three, four, five over here and six in the middle. Seems like I'm missing one right here for some reason, but that would be seven. They're all Phillips head. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those out. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off these hoses. So I like to get a pair of pliers because they're on pretty tight. You're going to get a little water that's going to come out of here. Because the water is always in the, in the hose. Um, before you do this, Please make sure that you turn off the water from the main um, valve right there. Because if you don't, as soon as you start doing this right here, it's just going to spew out everywhere. Alright. So we got them loose. You have to take these off in order to take this, this metal shield off here. Now 
what you're going to do is you're going to take out all of these um, Phillips heads. Try to be careful and not strip the heads of the Phillips screws. Alright, so I got them all out. I'm gonna take this part off. Just kind of just work it off off of these two uh, valve openings here. Take that part off. Alright, so this is the back. If you come closer, you can see this is the old inlet valve here. This is the cold side, this is the hot side. The cold side has uh, four fittings on the back because it has four valves and this one only has one um, controllers. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this one. I'll probably remove the hot one later, but you know, normally you don't use hot that much. You normally use cold, so we're going to replace this one first. All right. So basically, you just lift up on this from from the back though. Lift up on it and then it has like these little um clips or whatever. You just pull them out. Like that. Okay, so now the clips are out. Everything's Oh yeah. <laughs> Please make sure that you actually unplug it I unplugged it but I didn't tell you guys to do that so make sure that it's not plugged into the wall for power all right now what I'm gonna do is see if I can make this easy we're gonna take out these two screws that are in the front right here because these two screws are actually holding this valve in so I'm gonna take those screws out those two screws put those over to the side so you know which one those actually go to now the way that this is set up look down this way the way that this is set up you got two blues two whites yours may be different colors but on this particular model you have two blues two whites please use your camera and take a picture of this know you know um, which side these go on if you can see right here you would think these two are duplicate duplicates but they're not you got three black wires um what is it two two black wires and a white wire on this blue one but on this one you have a gray wire and two black wires so you need to make sure you know which one they go to all right i've already taken a picture of it so i know which one is which so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove these off they just pull off just pull them off this one's kind of hard. there we go that one's kind of hard to get off all right so now you pull the valve back and pull it up as close as you can get it. Come like look straight down on it. Turn it this way. Yeah. Okay, so in here. Smart thing to do is just, just pull this whole piece off so that you don't have to keep um so you don't have to keep so you have room for the to move this out so take this out for that bracket and then the bracket just slides like that just kind of move that bracket to the side now you have room to work with because that bracket's not in the way now as you can see back here 
show this part right here. You have three ho you have four hoses. Come on for some more. You have four hoses. You got one, two, three, four. You need to make sure that you put something tape, different color tape, whatever, on these hoses to know which hose goes to which valve. Okay. Come up some. Up some more. You see this one right here. When we put this one in, you need to make sure you know which hose goes on the right one. Okay, it's four of them. You gotta make sure they're on the right one. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off the first one here. It's just a clamp. You just grab it with a pair of pliers, any kind of pair, pair of pliers you have. You squeeze this together like that and move it back. Alright, see how I did that? All it is is a clamp. Okay, now once you got that clamp back, you should be able to pull this hose off here. Sometimes it's tight, you might have to grab it with a pair of pliers just to break it loose because it's been on there forever. Show more of the this what I'm actually doing. Yeah, right here. And then you're gonna have to take this off. Water's probably gonna come out of it. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen. Just try to pull it off as carefully as you can without hitting your hand on something and cutting yourself. <clears throat> okay, see, that's the first one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start hooking them to the new one okay just makes sense to me I'm gonna go ahead and put this one that I just took off on this slot right here because I know that's where it goes and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull pull this clamp you gotta look at it on the camera so you know and then slide it up All right, so that's the first one. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that to all of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the second one right here. Just pull this back as far as I can get it. I kind of give it a twist or whatever. That's how I'm pulling them off. I'm twisting them. Mine are coming off kind of easy because, like I told you, I had already pulled these off before to see what was wrong. And uh, yours will probably be a little tighter. So, um, let's see if I can get this one on here. All I'm doing is putting it on this, this one right here. I don't have a lot of room, but keep doing it this way you don't have to do it this way if you label all of the um, the hoses but I didn't have time to do that so got two more all right this one right here has a one on it and this one has a two so I can actually take both of these off and not have to worry about being confused putting them back on all right so we got the old one off This is the new one. I'm gonna go ahead and put the one I just took off on the third one. And then fetch the other one and put that one on this one. Alright. So we got all four hoses on. 
go ahead and grab these clamps. I got them all on. All right, back up some. Okay, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put this clip uh, bracket back. As you can see, it has an area right here where it slides into. So you just slide it back in first, and then put it back down, and put the screw that you took out back in. So that bracket's on, take the new one, slide it back through the hole, grab the two screws that you took out, Make sure I got it straight and not crooked. It's kind of crooked a little bit. That's why it's hard to get this screw in. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to tighten this one. Alright, so it's on there. Both of them are tight. Now we're going to do the same thing. As you can see, if you look down here on the top of this, the top of it has, you can see it has a blue, blue dot, blue dot. So it kind of, kind of tells you a little bit, you know, where they go. I'm guessing anyway. And this one has like a red, um, like I was saying, you got this uh, red dot right here. And you kind of got this little orangey red cable. Slide that on. Kind of lets you know that that goes there. Plus, you took a picture of it. And then you slide the last one on. So now you got them all on. Back up a little bit. You got all of them on. You got the old one off. The screws are in and everything. Now you're going to put this back on. You're going to lean it forward. Put these little tabs in. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's five of them. Put them in there and since they're laying in just lean it back so now that's down everything's hooked up okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this metal thing back on i'm guessing it goes this way all right slide this on And you're going to put all the screws back in it. Uh, the ones with these hex heads like this, they go at the bottom down here. They actually go on the metal part of the um, wash machine. Everything else goes in the plastic. See? 
This is plastic. This metal is going to the plastic. It's a different type of screw. Have one more. I'm gonna put it over here into that plastic. Now it should be one more hex bolt, you know, right here, but I don't have one, so we're not gonna worry about that. All right, so everything's uh, basically good. Um, I'll tell you something else. Let's uh, get close right here. These things in here. Those are filters. You can actually take it and grab it and pull them out. Just give them a tug. Oh, I broke that one. But you can basically grab those and pull those out and clean them off. Because you can see it has like stuff all over it there's stuff everywhere but you can grab those and pull them out like let's just show you with the new one with this new one see how it comes out you just grab it and pull it out that one right there is all dry rotting and stuff but I'll get this piece out of here and I'm gonna have to just order another one actually I'm gonna leave it in there until I order another one and then I'll take this one out and put the new one in there and then guys, that's it. Screw everything back up. Put your washing machine back to where it needs to be and go through the cycles to make sure that the new one that you just bought is actually working. And um, if it goes through a cycle without letting water continuously pour into the drum, you fixed it. So, all right guys, y'all have a good one.